This is Gary Whitgriff, an international millet researcher and author of two books on production and marketing of proso, that is, common millet. Proso millet is an annual, short season, drought tolerant, multi headed, small seeded, gluten free cereal grain. Although common millet has been cultivated since ancient times in arid and semi arid regions around the world, it is difficult to determine when to harvest. This video answers some of those questions. My books are available for free in PDF format at researchgate.com, or paperbacks can be ordered on my website, relatingtoancients.com. That's relatingtoancients.com. Question today in this proso millet field, is this field ready to swath? You see some tops of the heads that are uh, look like they're mature, the top seeds may shell out, even if it's a little bit hard to shell out, it's, it's a sign that uh, you're probably too early. But let's look, look in at a secondary head. You feel the middle, definitely uh, some seed in there. You look at, the, again, a secondary head, and uh, you know the middle of that secondary head, there's very little. It got some late rains, so you have some tertiary heads coming out, and uh, that will add to the yield. But uh, since the main heads are, are not ready to swath yet, then obviously these lower secondary and tertiary heads need to, need to wait. So this field is at least a week away, depending on the rains, uh, maybe a little bit better than that. A tip on swathing millet. You'll notice that this field of millet was no-till planted into sunflower stubble and corn the year before that, but it was cut high enough to allow very few heads to be missed, but you want the windrow setting up so that air movement will go underneath. And by doing so, you'll dry it out, dry the windrows much, much faster. And so you want that stubble, if you can, at least five to six inches tall, or say 12 to 15 centimeters. And even though we picked up moisture and the windrow has settled down, we should be able to combine this with decent weather in another week. Combining tip on millet. You'll notice ahead of us there's a clump because when they swath across the rows it picked up a rock. And when you have a windrow being able to dry down to that 12-14% range to uh, combine and you run into a clump like this, it could be very wet so you're better off leaving a few uh, seeds and not trying to pick up this wet mass because it's going to uh, just add too much moisture and could slug your combine. So go ahead and skip over that and just keep moving. Again, taking the head first, the stem last, as you're combining into the windrow. We're out into a millet field that's been swathed about a week. Our objective today to see if it's ready to combine. They picked up some rains since it was laid down swathed. And so what I'm going to do is insert my hand into a windrow and grab a head and pull up. When you open your hand, if it's dry enough, meaning in that 12-14% moisture, seeds will shell out in my hand. It did not. This field is going to average at least in the 20-some percent moisture range. It's got a lot of drying to do. So don't combine it too early because there's very few dryers that'll have the floors to uh, handle millet and uh, this is way too uh, wet to uh, thresh out properly. You want it in that 12 to 14 percent range. More on millet at relatingtoancients.com. Search the internet. Enter Whitgriff Millet.